Welcome back, everyone. Last up to face the chaser tonight is former Olympic athlete. It's Roger Black, everyone. Hey, hey. <laughs> The glory days of athletics, mate, if you don't mind me saying. Long time ago, eh? Yeah, I was lucky to be around in those days. You know, you'd, you'd turn on the telly and you'd have Linford Christie running, yeah. Colin Jackson, Chris Akabusi, yeah. Code, Sally Gunnell. Household amazing, names, yeah, yeah, extraordinary. I remember as well, and you just lost out to Michael Johnson. Oh, yeah, well, I didn't just lose out. He was... <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like facing a chaser with Michael Johnson. He right. was pretty intimidating. Now, quizzing, mate. I love a quiz. I know. I love know. a quiz. Yes. It's a family thing. We love to watch all the quiz shows and we, yeah. we love it, so... Good, yeah. good, good. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Here we go, Rog. Your time starts now. What crop is usually grown in a paddy field? Uh, rice. Correct. The trainer, Sir Mark Prescott, has had more than 2,000... Horse racing. Correct. What Italian film festival takes place on an island called the Lido? Uh, pass. Venice. Have I Got News for Boris was a special episode of what TV show? Have I Got News for You. Correct. William Shakespeare was born during the reign of which queen? Elizabeth. The first. Correct. Quality Quidditch Supplies is a shop on... Harry which, Potter. ...on which fictional street? Right. Diagon Alley. Well. Rapper Machine Gun Kelly wears a vial around his neck containing Megan Fox's what? Megan Fox's... Pass. Blood. Didn't know. Uh, Vava scored three goals in two FIFA World Cup finals for what team? Uh, Belgium. Brazil. Should have known that. The podcast Private Parts stars two former cast members of what E4 reality show? Pass. Made in Chelsea. What iron structure was the UK's tallest building when it opened in 1894? Uh, Angel of the North. Blackpool 1894. Tower. 1894. 1894 was 1894. not the Angel of the North. Right, Roger Black. <laughs> £4,000, everyone. Right. OK, £4,000. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time to face the chaser. Okay. Good luck, okay. I don't know why I did that, sorry. <laughs> Good evening, Roger. Good evening. It's a pleasure to meet someone who can run almost as fast as Bradley can <laughs> when they call last orders. <laughs> He's grease lightning. I am quick. OK, uh, let's put some money on the table. 4K and a low offer, please, Beastie Boy. A grand. High offer, then, please. Well, as you gave Danielle and John very sensible advice, I'm going to reward you. Oh, sure. £112,000. <laughs> Show another chat. Danielle, what do you say? That is a lot of money. Serious. I know, but yes. very lonely back here at the oh, moment oh. with just us guys. Raj, I know you want to go for the 112. Under normal circumstances, I'd say yes, but this is for charity. I think we need you back. I know you want me to come back, yeah. and I can imagine my kids watching this going, go for it, go for yeah, it, go yeah, for it. Yeah, of course. And I don't know what to do, because... Um, <laughs> I don't know if the would be saying what that. Do? You're going to say that, Georgia. Yeah. I'm really sorry, but it's just simply how many times you get a chance to go for 112. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're with you. Go for it. We're with you. We have won for 112,000 pounds. I need a decision. I'll go for 112,000. All right. Roger Black for £112,000. The chase is on. I'm looking at you. <laughs> great, that's great. Here we go. I wish you well. It comes your first question. <sighs> wish I was playing. <laughs> in Casablanca, which actor says, of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine? Was it A, Claude Rains? B, Humphrey Bogart, or C, Paul Heinrid. You've put... Bogey. Gotta be. Yeah. Correct answer is... <laughs> Step close to home. Chase is put. Goes right, also. Here's your next question. What is the occupation of the owner of the cartoon cat Garfield? A, musician. B, photographer. C, cartoonist. Come on, you know this, Rog. I don't know this. You do know it. Let's go. Neat answer. I don't know this. You Sorry. do know it. I don't know it. You've put... Musician. The correct answer is... I've no idea. Sorry. 
Cartoonist, staying where you are. Chaser's put. Yeah, cartoonist. In your five from home, Chaser's mum behind his question. Which of these is a traditional British dish consisting of pig's cheeks rolled in breadcrumbs? A, bath chaps. B, bath fellows. C, bath buddies. I need an answer, though. Stop pressing. Oh, Rog, I'm not being funny. You've got to concentrate. <laughs> this is absolutely doing my brain in. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, this is so traditional, for 62 years, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. <laughs> You've put... Bath chaps. No idea. Correct answer is... Chaser's put. OK, now we're four from home. Chaser's still one behind. Here's your next question. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hang on a minute. Deborah Messing and Jane Fonda have both played US sitcom characters with what first name? A, Grace. B, Helen. C, Karen. Come on, Rog, you know this. Know. Yeah, you do know <laughs> this. You do know this, Roger. You do know this. Deborah Messing and Jane Fonda. Need it, need it, Rog. Go, Rog, go. You've put Grace. It's a fight. Oh, you donut. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Correct answer is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Step close home. Chase is put. Yeah, Ghost Grace sticks with us. Here's your next question. Oh. What sort of questions are these? <laughs> what happened to the first draft of John Steinbeck's novel of Mice and Men? A, he left it on the bus. B, he spilled coffee over it. C, his dog ate it. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> go on, go on. Oh. You've put... His dog, his dog must have ate it. His dog must have... Why is it up there? The correct answer is... Yeah! Yeah! Step home. He throws at the same. Chase has put... Yeah. yeah. Come on. Sticks with us. Chase has won me arm two from home. Had you taken the grand, you'd be in the final by now. Wouldn't be as much fun, though, would it? No. <laughs> <laughs> My nerves are shot to yeah. bits. Here's your question. What does the French phrase très drôle mean? I can't even speak English. <laughs> A, very good. B, very nice. C, very funny. He knows one. <laughs> yeah, I know one. <laughs> Do you speak French? A little bit. Oh, man, you are. Wee wee. Wee wee. Now I'm questioning it. You've put, <laughs> you've put very funny. Correct answer is. <laughs> Chase is put. Okay, now then, it's a one question shootout. Had you taken the four grand, you'd what? be home and dry by now. Right, here we go. I wish you luck. Here's your question Dance emotes are a feature of which of these video games? No, no, just clapping. <laughs> I thought it was an assassination attempt. Are you mad? <laughs> thought a gunshot had gone off. They're going to change me pants. <laughs> a, Minecraft. B, Fortnite. C, Grand Theft Auto. No idea what any of that means. He does. What is okay. a dancing moat? Can I just say, can I just say? Well, uh, hello, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> I will now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I, I, feel, I feel like I've just crossed the line after a 400 metre race. What have you put? You've put, you've put Fortnite. Yeah. Why have you put Fortnite? Because yeah. my tip. Yeah. Because I've spent the last few years telling my sons to get off their 
computer games and get outside, and now I thank them <laughs> for staying on their computer games and playing and playing Fortnite. Yeah. To go through Roger Black for £112,000, the correct answer is... I tell you, that's a cinder track of emotions, I can tell you. I've just realised, we haven't won yet, have we? Oh. It, uh, what you have done is really put the cat amongst the pigeons. Roger Black, you are through to the final show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>